The reason why I like to call this the infamous C scale and its correct fingering is because everything centers around the C on the piano. That's where it all begins and that's where all beginners learn. And so, one of the first things that would be nice and very foundational for you to learn is how to play the C scale and how to use the correct fingering because the correct fingering will also bleed over into other things that you'll do and you'll naturally know how to use a couple fingering maneuvers already. So this is a video to pay close attention to and um, it'll give you some hours of enjoyment learning how to play the C scale. Okay, we're going to learn how to play the C scale. The C scale starts on a C and ends with a C. And what you're going to do is take your right hand thumb and you're going to place it on C, any C on the piano. And if you watch carefully, I will teach you how to do this using the correct scale fingering. So first you're going to play the first three notes in order. When you get to the third finger, hold it there and bring your thumb under to hit the next note. Play the next note. Move all of your fingers over with it. And that way you have enough fingers to finish all the way to C. You'll know you did it right if you end on your pinky. Backwards, you're going to start with C. Play all the way down until you get to your thumb. Cross over with your third. And finish it. There are eight tones or eight notes in a scale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And backwards. Let's look at the left hand fingering. Starting with your pinky. When you get to your thumb, cross over with your third. And you'll end on your thumb. Backwards, play to your third finger and bring your thumb under and finish it. And that's the ski C scale and the correct fingering. Go ahead and practice that until it's nice and smooth. When you get brave, you can try that with both hands at the same time. This is Lisa at LearnPianoOnline.com. I just want to tell you that it's been a pleasure working with you over the last few minutes in this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I have provided some valuable information for you to use. If you would like access to more lessons, more free lessons, go ahead and visit my site if you're not already on it at LearnPianoOnline.com. And if you can't find what you're looking for, please go ahead and email me at teacher at learnpianoonline.com. Well, I hope you enjoy the piano. Keep on smiling and keep on practicing, and I'll see you again in another video.